Hi folks, and welcome to another episode of Tableau in Two Minutes. Today we're going to be covering how you can use calculations to highlight the last item in a series dynamically. So uh, this highlight <clears throat> that you see on the graph below you, this is always going to be on the very last item um, of this series. Uh, so the uh, the way we create that, well, first off, we uh, have to build up this basic visualization. So we just take sales, drag it out to the rows shelf, uh, and then we create a new category uh, for a time series this is going to be a time series piece, right? So we want to go ahead and create a new calculated field. Um, we're going to call this year, month. And what this is going to be is a combination of the year and the month. So uh, it's now May 2018, so we would have 2018-05. The way we do that is we go year, order date, and then we multiply that by 100, and we add the month of the order date. Don't forget to put this in parentheses, otherwise Tableau will give you some very interesting results. Let's go ahead and apply that. <clears throat> and then we're just gonna drag that out. It actually appears down here in the measures. We wanna drag it up to be a dimension. Uh, and then we wanna drag it out onto the column shelf. And you can see here that we have uh, now our years and months uh, together along the bottom. Um, if we wanted to, we could also drag order date out to this shelf right here. Uh, and it would give us the traditional order dates and things like that. We could even potentially get rid of year month if we wanted to do that. But let's leave it in there for now get rid of all these, and then create the highlight. So what we want to do is we want to create a calculated field that tells us when to highlight and when not to highlight. So we'll call this highlight. And then what we're going to say is we're going to say if the current year month equals the maximum year month. And the way we do that is by using a fixed level of detail calculation. So we want to have this fixed so it's always calculated across the entire data set. And then we want to take the max year month. All right, so what this is going to do, just to walk you through it, um, is it's going to calculate the maximum year month across the whole data set, and it's going to apply that in a new column that we can compare in every row to the individual year month. When we do that, if it's equal to the maximum year month, right, so if, if it is the latest month that we have in our data set, then we want to highlight it. So we'll say highlight. Uh, but if it's not, then we don't want to highlight it. All right. So let's go ahead and OK that. We'll take this highlight drag it onto the color shelf, and oh look, you can see that the last month in our data set has turned orange. Probably, oh sorry, it's turned blue, the rest of them are orange. We probably don't want orange, because orange is a bit more prominent. Um, so why don't we go ahead and turn that gray. And then you can see that we have uh, this build here, all the way out to this very last month in our data set, which is uh, blue. Now, as I said, you can take the order date, if you would like to, and drag it out here. If you wanted to have the same information, you can see we've still got our blue dot right on the end there change this to a bar chart, and we have exactly the same graph, um, but in this case, we're using the original date. So instead of that rather fugly year month field, now we have a proper set of dates that we can uh, and we can see that the last one is highlighted. So that is it for this episode of Tableau in two minutes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. There's a link to the workbook and to the data set in the video description. And if you like what you hear and you'd like more Tableau tips and tricks, then please subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time.